this video is all about using trigonometric identity to simplify these particular expressions now let's begin now the first one a we have cos theta tan theta so we're asked to express it in the simple term now to do that you have cos theta now tan theta is the same thing as sine theta divided by cos theta so if this will cancel out you now have sine theta left so this is a simple term for this particular expression now b b you are, we are giving one minus cos square theta divide by sine square theta now we know from trigonometric identity that cos square theta plus sine square theta is equal to one now if you move this cos square theta to this other side you now have sine square theta is equal to one minus cos square theta so now anywhere we see one minus cos square theta will substitute um, sine square theta so now that means we'll replace this the, the value at the numerator with sine square theta so if you do that you have sine square theta divided by sine square theta so if this cancels this you have one so the simple term to this is what one now let's look at the c the c you see you have one minus cos square theta brackets open and close then you have sec square theta now one minus cos square theta sec square theta we know that sec square theta we know that sec theta is equal to one all over cos theta so sec square theta is equal to one all over cos square theta so we replace that here now we now have now from the, the previous expression we we are, we are able to to prove that this one minus cos square theta is equal to sine square theta now this is the same thing as this which is a trigonometric identity so you have one all over cos square theta now sine square theta times one you have sine square theta one times cos square theta you have cos square theta so this is the same thing as what tan square theta so this the simple expression to this is this so tan square theta is a simple expression to that particular problem and this is question um, c question c now let's go over to question d you have d now d you have the question is one plus let me go back okay one plus tan theta okay so the d is one plus tan square theta bracket open or close you have cos square theta so now now we need to now now we need to now prove the trigonometric identity that this is equal to so now let's look at it now you have cos square theta plus sine square theta which is equal to one now dividing both dividing all through all the terms by cos square theta you have divided by cos square theta this divided by cos square theta this divided by cos square theta now this will cancel out you have one plus this the whole of this will have a tan square theta which is equal to one all over cos cos square theta so that means this expression is equal to this so we're going to when we will see this one plus tan square theta we're going to substitute one all over cos square theta in this expression so we have one all over cos square theta times cos square theta all over one so this cancels this you have equal to what one so that's for d then for e 
you have 1 all over 1 minus sine theta plus 1 all over 1 plus sine theta. Now, if you look at the, the denominators, what is the LCM of the denominator? The LCM of the denominator is 1 minus sine theta, 1 minus sine theta times 1 plus sine theta. So this is the LCM of the, uh, the denominator. So now, so since we have gotten the, S, the, the, the LCM of the denominator, that, that what we are going to do now is, now you have 1 all over sine, oh sorry, you have 1 all over, 1 all over 1 minus sine theta plus 1 all over 1 plus sine theta. So what we're going to do is to make the denominator the same with to make the denominator the same with the uh, the LCM we got. So the L so for us to make this the this term this first term we also make the denominator of this first term the same with that with that of the LCM. What we're going to do we multiply both sides by what is not here. The value that is not here, you see, you have this here. So the one that is not here is this. So in the in essence, we are saying we are using this term here, the, the denominator of this one, to multiply both up and down of this. So you have one plus sine theta. Multiply up and down for this particular one. You have one plus sine theta. So you see. The, the denominator now becomes the same with the LCM. Now, you also do the same to this. You multiply the numerator and denominator by this one. So, to make the, the, the LCM the same. So, now you have 1 minus sine theta. Use it to multiply the numerator and also use the same thing to multiply the denominator. So, you know, this same value multiply the denominator and that same value divide the denominator this expression here already is one this one is also one so the, the, the equation still remains the same so when i say this is equal to now one plus sine theta times one you have one plus sine theta now if you have this expression down here is the same thing as saying one plus x times 1 minus x. This is 1 minus x squared. That is what it will give you. Now, let's open it up and see, so that we will not be, so that people will not get confused. What would it, see, now, 1 times 1, we, this, use this 1 to multiply the whole of this. 1 times 1, you have 1. 1 times minus x, you have minus x. Plus x times 1, you have plus x. Plus x times minus x, you have minus x squared. So these are the same but of different sign they will cancel out. So now you are left with 1 minus x squared. So in this case, your x here is sine theta. So, so this expression, this denominator will now be 1 minus sine square theta plus 1 times 1 minus sine theta will give you 1 minus sine theta. Divide by this same thing is the same thing because the the denominators is still the same. So you have 1 minus sine square theta. So now what we're going to do, since the denominators are the same, we add the numerators. So you have 1 plus sine theta plus 1 minus sine theta divided by 1 minus sine square theta. Now, 1 plus 1, you have 2 plus sine theta minus sine theta. They are the same but different sign they cancel it. So now this you have now two all over. This expression one minus sine square theta is the same thing as now using using um trigonometric identity. This is the same thing as cos square theta. But let's uh, explain how 
we got it to be the same thing as cos square theta. So now, if you have, you know that cos square theta plus sine square theta is equal to 1. Now, if you move this sine square theta to this other side, you now have cos square theta equal to 1 minus sine square theta. So that is it. So now, we are not going to replace this because anywhere we see one, 1 minus sine square theta, which is this, we replace it with what's cos square theta. So that means this is equal to 2. And you also know that 1 all over cos theta is equal to sec theta. So this is not, will not be equal to 2 sec square theta. This is still trigonometric identity. So these are the trigonometric identity that we use to simplify. We apply them to simplify these particular problems. Now, let's go to F, question F. The F, you have sec theta minus sine theta and theta. So now we are asked to simplify this. We know, we know that sec theta is the same thing as what? 1 all over cos theta minus, you have sine theta, then tan theta is the same thing as sine theta divided by cos theta. So this you have 1 all over cos theta minus, this is sine theta, the sine square theta, because sine theta times sine theta will give you sine square theta all over cos theta. Now, if you look at these two things, you, you, know, you notice that one all over cos theta is common. So you, you factor them out. You have one all over cos theta into this. If you use one over cos theta to divide one over cos theta, you have one. If you, divide, you use one all over cos theta to divide the whole of this, you have minus sine square theta. That is what we give, it will give you. Or you can also say the, new, the denominators are the same. You you add them. You just add the, the you just add the, um, the numerator. So you have one minus sine square theta. Simple. A simple term. So now from we also have shown that this is the same thing. This one all over sine square theta is the same thing as cos square theta. So now let's also there is no need proving it because we have done it here. Okay, let me still do it so that somebody, you know, when you repeat something often and on, somebody will now get acquainted with it. So now let's say cos square theta plus sine square theta is equal to 1. Now, if you move this value, this uh, sine square theta to this other side, you have cos square theta equal to 1 minus sine square theta. So this value is the same thing as this, which is cos square theta divided by cos square theta. So this cos square theta will cancel one of these. So you have cos square theta as a simple form of this particular problem. Now, the last one, but not the least, is G. The G, they say we should find, we should simplify sec theta divided by cos theta minus and theta divided by cos theta. Now, we know that sec theta is equal to 1 all over cos theta. We also know that tan theta is equal to sine theta all over cos theta. We also know that cos theta is inverse of this, which is cos theta divided by sine theta. So now applying all this into this expression, if you put 1 all over cos theta divided by cos theta, minus this will not be sine theta divided by cos theta all divided by cos theta divided by sine theta now let's make it so elementary this expression is same thing as one all over cos theta divided by cos theta over one minus sine theta all over cos theta divided by cos theta all over sine theta. So this is an elementary form. Now you have one all over cos 
theta times you reverse this. If you want to change this sign, you reverse this, which is one all over cos theta. Then minus this one, you have sine theta all over cos theta. If you put time, times, you reverse this, which is now becomes sine theta all over cos theta. So this expression will now be 1 all over cos square theta because cos theta times cos theta will give you cos square theta. 1 times 1 will give you 1 minus sine theta times sine theta will give you sine square theta. Then cos theta times cos theta will give you cos square theta. So now we now have the question will now be now if you check the, the denominators are the same so you add the numerator so you have 1 minus sine square theta divided by cos square theta now we have proved in so many times that cos square theta is equal to 1 minus sine square theta so we just have to replace it here this with cos square theta all over cos square theta so this will cancel you have one so this is the final answer. Thank you for watching to the end. Please have a nice day. Please also subscribe, like, comment, and also share the video. Thank you.